We're speaking to Mark O.D. this morning. He's a TV host, YouTuber, and social media influencer all the way from the UK. Hello, Mark. Hello, how are you guys? We're good. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So uh, we understand that you could potentially be more Malaysian than we are. I don't know how that's possible because I'm 100% British. Um, <laughs> I don't like spicy food. Um, <laughs> but I, I do think there is some truth to that maybe because I think maybe because I, I love to travel a lot. So mm -hmm. I've been to like every Malaysian state and I've got a lot of Malaysian friends that haven't been to Malaysian states. Um, plus, places like Batu Caves, as a typical Matsuleo, I've been there about five times. And <laughs> I know some Malaysians have never been there before. So maybe there is some truth to that. Now, how long have you been residing and, and working here in Malaysia? Uh, saya kerja Malaysia untuk tujuh tahun. <laughs> That's totally yeah. wrong, by the way. <laughs> 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 so I, I've, I've already lost 10% of that Malaysian. <laughs> Damn, okay. So you've been here for seven years? Seven years, yeah. yeah. What was it that prompted you to come to this part of the world, though? Um, uh, it's a very long story, but I'll keep it short and sweet because we were on Light FM. Um, so basically, I was in a boy band and we came to Malaysia. We were formed in England and we came to Malaysia. Um, I wouldn't say we were, we were a particularly great boy band, but it was a lot of fun and it did introduce me to Malaysia. And then from that boy band, I started the YouTube channel. Um, I got offered a job on um, another TV station and then I just started to live here. And every year it was like, oh, I'll go back next year. I'll go back next year, which is what I think a lot of like Matt Saleh's, Angmore's, same thing. They come here, it's like, oh, one year and then they just fall in love. So yeah, that's what I did. But what is it about Malaysia that you fell in love with? Um, I think probably the convenience of everything. Like for me, honestly, Malaysians actually, they really undervalue Malaysia. Like a lot of my Malaysian friends complain a lot about things. And I don't think they've lived in another country. So they cannot, they cannot relate. So I'm someone that has lived in a few different countries. And I think Malaysia is so convenient. Like you've got everything. If you, you can eat for cheap. So if you're on like an average salary and you eat cheap, you can actually save a lot of money. Um, the cost of living is very low, which I love. Um, I think you can do anything you want. If you like to party, there's good bars, there's good clubs. If you uh, like hanging out at cafes, there's so many amazing restaurants. You, you guys know Malaysia food is awesome. Um, I think futsal as well. I love football. And in England, none of my friends would play football because it's so cold. But here we have futsal and it's, yeah, it's just really nice. There's so many things you can do here that are really like underrated in my opinion. But the traffic though, I mean, like it's not the most convenient when you have to drive everywhere. The trains. I don't drive, so it's fantastic. <laughs> if I'm in the grab car, I will just play on my phone. I'll respond to my emails. So it's awesome. Or if, if I've been in your car before, JD, yeah. we, won't mention, we won't mention the story we had, but you know. <laughs> I hire you as my grab car driver. <laughs> okay, <bye. laughs> No, but have you ever been here to this part of the world or to Malaysia before you decided to, you know, work here and reside here? No, I didn't know what to expect, honestly. Like, um, I came here not knowing anything about Malaysia, which I thought was quite good, actually, because then I came with, like, a, a blank book. So I didn't really have any expectations. Um, I didn't really know much about it. Um, and I've learned so much more. So, yeah, I'm very... I'm very lucky to be here and very honoured to be here because, you know, I, I do feel like Malaysia is my second home. Not your first uh, home. <laughs> well, I can't lie and, you know, say I'm Malaysia. I would love to call it my first home, you know, yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure you had some challenges in your early days here in Malaysia. Yeah, I, I still face challenges now, to be honest, because I'm, I'm very sarcastic. So some people don't get my sarcasm, um, like, especially on social media, for instance. I've got to be very careful how I word things because there's been a lot of incidents where I will say something sarcastically and um, maybe some people don't understand. So so I was, I was in Bahintian last week and I basically ordered some fish and chips from this restaurant and the signage had like a Malaysian restaurant name um, and I took an Instagram picture and I put, my caption was, with the fish and chips, 
always love traveling to Malaysian states and trying the nice, tasty, local Malaysian food. Obviously, I'm being sarcastic, but you get people commenting saying things like, that's not our food. Like, do not insult Malaysian food. Our food is Nazi Lamak. So sometimes I struggle with that because I'm very British, very sarcastic, and some people don't understand my sarcasm. Um, so that, that's one thing. I think number two, because you're not, it's not my country, I have to be a little bit careful what I say. I can't complain about things too much because I suppose I don't really have the right to. Uh, because I, I'm not actually Malaysian and the comments you are going to get back up the typical comments are, oh go back to your own country then if you don't like it or like go back you know like I get that all the time so I've just got to be careful what I say sometimes um, which luckily I've managed to to kind of be careful yeah yeah I mean but your accent is pretty thick right your your British accent is pretty thick has anyone yes. ever misunderstood you like in your early days or Oh, all the time. Yeah. <laughs> any any the... interesting or funny stories that you can share with us? Um, I just think in general, like my my accent is different sometimes on the t the TV shows I do. Like now, it sounds really thick because I'm I'm very comfortable with you guys. Uh, but if I'm hosting a show, my accent is definitely at least fifty percent more more polished, more clearer because I've got to understand that some people might not understand my really thick accent. So um, it does change. It does change sometimes. And actually, uh, when I go back home, some of my friends uh, think I sound more Australian, which is really weird <laughs> because because I've had to change my accent. Uh, I go back and they're like, Mark, why are you talking like that? So, yeah. So have you and, you've evolved in a way, though, in the, in the time that you've been in Malaysia? Yeah, like massively. I think um, little Malaysian words, I would say as well. Like um, I go back home and my I say la like quite a lot. I, I haven't got a Malaysian accent, but I say la quite a lot. And sometimes I, I say it in a conversation with my friends. And just the way I word things as well, is it can be very Malaysian sometimes. Yeah. Like what? <laughs> give, give us a sentence, man. Like can. So this, this is one. So the other day I was talking in my WhatsApp group and I said something and I was like, can? Like, um, and that's really weird in England. So they're like, uh, like, where's your English? Like, what English are you talking about? Like, and I was like, crap, like, that's a Malaysian thing. I shouldn't really be saying this, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my God. You, you saying that, I just remembered a story because I have British cousins as well. And they yeah. were down here about maybe three or four years ago. And yeah. he called and said, uh, are you able to pick me up here at so-and-so and whatnot? And I'm like, yeah, uh -huh. Ken, Ken, no problem. And he's like, <laughs> uh, are you calling me Ken? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, no, I get that all the time. So yeah, yeah, it's but I like that because some Mal I think the Malaysian way is really relaxed and chilled, which I kind of like. Whereas English is more proper, you know, everything's like, oh, like, would you like a cup of tea? Oh, yes, that'd be wonderful. Whereas Malaysia's like, okay, yeah, I can that. Like, it's it's more chilled, which is kind of cool because I'm I'm chilled as well. So it suits me more. I would love to see you walking around London and using your lars. <laughs> and people like, what is he talking about? <laughs> I would like to see that too. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you're back home in the UK, what do you yeah. miss most about Malaysia? Um, I miss uh, the price of food, <laughs> for one. You can't get a chicken rice for like uh, two quid. You, it was, it's going to be at least five pounds. Like The cheapest food we have is kebab, which is disgusting. Um, and that's at least, that's at least going to cost you 15 ringgit, um, which is not considered cheap here. So obviously like things like chicken rice, is like what, seven ring it and it's so nice. Um, stuff like the mamak as well, because in England, like after 12, everywhere's closed. Whereas Malaysia, like last night, I watched this musical and it finished really late and I was eating my tandoori and my garlic naan at 11 p.m. In England, nothing's open. Maybe McDonald's, that's it. So um, I, miss, I miss the convenience of, of those kind of things. That's probably like number one. Yeah, and the weather. And of course, I miss the, the center light FM because it's the best radio station. <laughs> oh in the world, wow! You know, like, wow. As, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Do you like? Do you miss UK weather though? Sometimes it gets a bit muggy and hot here though. Uh, no, I love Malaysia weather one hundred percent because we don't have to like. It's different for you guys because you're in the you're in the Astro Studio every day and it's really cold. But for for me, I'm, I'm always out and about, so um, I love not having to dress seasonally. Because in the UK, every season we have to like 
buy jackets because it's winter or like summer. Okay, now time to buy the summer stuff. Whereas in Malaysia, we can just wear the same clothes every year round. I can wear shorts and a t-shirt like 365 days a week. So I love that. <laughs> now we're going to do a little test to see how Malaysian you are. Oh, okay. We're going to do Bring a little on. quiz. Uh, let's, uh, let's start with our first question, okay? What is the name of our flag? The, the name of the flag? Yeah. Um, Starts with a J. Oh, um, I did a parody about this. Let, can I just sing my parody? <laughs> yeah, um, go ahead. Do you remember the 31st day of September? Da, 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 how we raised it? Jalangambula. Is it J- J- Jagambulan? Jagambulan? No, close. You're close though. <laughs> it's Jalo Gamilang. Ah, oh, that's it. I'm a bit... I, uh, uh, you, uh, you don't understand my English accent, is it? That's what I said. That's what I said. Come on. Come on. All right. Um, <laughs> next question. How many states are there in Malaysia? You said you've traveled around Malaysia. So how many it's states are seven, there? Seven states, right? Ooh. Seven, over seven or eight. Okay. Let's let's do the math. From the top. That's Kedah. Okay. Kedah, Selangor. Oh, well, Perlis is all the way at the top. Yeah. Perlis, Kedah. Perlis, Kedah. Selangor, Penang. Kelantan, Penang, Perak. Um, you have... Oh, that's it. No, it's more. Oh, Sabah. Sabah, that's a state, isn't it? Yeah. Sarawak? Yep. Yeah. Kuching, that's a state. No, right? no, no, that's a city. <laughs> okay. So we've got seven, right? Seven. Okay, so it's Perlis, Kedah. Okay. Then you go down Penang. Yeah. And then you have uh, Perak. Then yeah. you have um, Selangor. And uh-huh. then you have Malacca. Oh, Malacca, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, then you have Negeri Sembilan. Okay. Then you have Johor. Oh my god, I've got Johor. Then you have Trengganu. Okay. Pahang. Yeah. Pahang. Uh huh. Kelantan. Oh my god, I sound really dumb now. Sabah. Sabah. And Sarawak. Sarawak. So it's thirteen states and three federal territories. Okay, I'll tell you what. Start from the. Th- we'll we'll go from the how Malaysian are you. Let's start with the flag name again. <laughs> we're gonna make you sound brilliant. Okay, we're gonna edit this. Make you sound. <laughs> brilliant. All right, we'll go, we'll start with that question again. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, Mark, we're gonna do a little test with you to see how Malaysian are you. Are you up? For okay, it? bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. What is the name of our flag? So that is the Jammu Gombalang. Close. Jam- is it right? Jammu Gobalan? Well, we'll, we'll, we'll take your, your British accent. Yeah, right? I think it's a British accent you it's can't understand. Jalo yeah. Gamilang, but you're very, very close. Okay, that's, what I, know. that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> and I apparently you did, a, you did a little parody song. Of yes, it yes, song, yes, right? yes, I did. I yeah. did. Now, how many states are there in Malaysia in total? You said you've travelled to quite a number of states. Okay, so let's work it out. So we have Selangor. We have Johor, Penang, we have Sabah, we have Sarawak, we have Taraganu, we have Kelantan, we have Kedah, we have Negri Samalang, Samalang. Um, we have Pahang, I'm not said Pahang, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's 10, and there's, I'm missing one out now, aren't I? You've got three more, three more. Three more, oh my god. Um, okay, 10 is good. You tell me the last three. Not bad, not That's bad. Johor. Te- Terragon- you, I said Johor. You said haven't Johor. said Johor. I think you said Terragon. Don't I say Johor? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, okay, okay, the okay. 13 states. So uh, you're, you're close. Okay, 10's good. 10's yeah. good. Okay. I'll, <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that. All right. Okay. Since you said you love our food, can you name all the condiments that we usually eat with the nasi lemak? Sambal, cucumber, ikan balis, um, and you're going to have egg. Yep. And you're also going to have, I think that's it, right? Rice, of course. Yeah. That's right. That's it, right? That's it. Well, right. you got the main ones. Peanuts sometimes. Sometimes you oh, get peanuts. rimmed down. Yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. Um, how's your Malay? Uh, <laughs> Malay, soya, sangat, kichil, sikit, sikit. <laughs> yes, very, very small. My okay. Yeah. But can tapi, you say... Tapi saya tuba. Can you Akan say, tuba. hello, how are you? My name is Mark. I love you in Malay. Uh, okay, so... Abakamba, Samoa, Namasaya, Marco D, Dan, Saya, oh, what? Uh, Saya, Chinta, Cal. 
close. Right? Not bad. Not I love bad. You, right? You're quite yeah. close. Not bad. Not too bad. Yeah. When is our Independence Day celebration? This weekend. Which is? First, 31st, no, 31st of August, right? Yes, very yeah. well done. <laughs> nice. Very, very Not well done. Not too bad. You passed the quiz four out of five. Nice. I'll yeah. take that. Awesome. It's <laughs> quite brilliant though. Oh my goodness. Now, Matt, so what are your plans here in Malaysia? Do you think you'll remain here for years to come? Maybe settle down well, with a Malaysian girl? or? I'm a bit annoyed actually because, I'm, uh, like I said, I had a chat with JD in the car once and he said he was going to sort me out with a Malaysian girlfriend. <laughs> and it's been two years <laughs> since that date and I'm still waiting. Nothing. No, no pictures of any girls. No, you know, dates arranged or anything. Very disappointed. <laughs> Okay. Very disappointed. So if if I did hook you up with a Malaysian girl, you, you're definitely staying on in Malaysia. Of of course, yeah. Malaysian girls are really cute. But even yeah. without the Malaysian girls, do you plan to stay on here in Malaysia? No. If there's no Malaysian girls, no, 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 <laughs> uh, no I think um, no. I I do love Malaysia, and I think I've been here for seven years now, and I've made like a, a career here. Um, it would be silly to leave soon and go back. Um, I do miss my family, but I, I travel at least twice a year. Um, like a lot of people say, like, oh, like you know, you must miss your mum. I, I speak to her on the phone. I mean, look at us. We're doing like a Zoom call now, and it's it's cool. Um, and a lot of my friends that say things like, oh, like, like your mum must miss you. That's not fair. A lot of these friends, they're also from like Kuda or you know Sabah, and they only go back like twice a year as well. So yeah. honestly, it's the same. It's the same thing in my opinion. As long as I go back twice a year, it's fine. Um, I love I love here. I think got a lot of good friends here. Um, I'm blessed to have a great job at Astro here as well uh, that I love doing. You know, talking about football and sport and stuff for a living. It's not really work. It's fun. Um, and yeah, just entertaining the Malaysian audience on YouTube and stuff. I I wouldn't see myself leaving anytime soon. So fingers crossed. I can. Uh, JD can help me out. And uh, find my oh my goodness! Malaysian yes, one. and I, I was sorted for life. I will. <laughs> I will sort that out. But hey. Honestly, though, if at some point in time, the Malaysian government said, "Hey, Mark, we love you. Would yeah. you like to be Malaysian full time? Would you?" Is, 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 is this is this where the surprise happens? Is, <laughs> is like the government going to walk in right now and say, "Here is your PR." The prime Minister <laughs> walks in because no, no. I've seen this stuff happen before on radio shows. Is it my lucky day? Is, is there, is there, is Unfortunately, there, is, we don't have that connection. Mo. We just oh want to ask God, you. Oh my God, guys! You know, if you were given then. if you were given Malaysian ah. citizenship, would you take it up? That's a tough question because, like, I am British. Um, it would certainly make things a lot easier here. Um, I don't know, actually. I, th I think the easiest way would probably be if I if I found myself a Malaysian wife, and then I could still be British, and then I could I stay on with a spousal that, visa. That, that's that's a good <laughs> offer, though. Actually, I don't know. Maybe maybe I could. Maybe I could. I don't know. The Queen still loves me in England. We we we're, we're like this. So actually, you know what? I'll take I'll take the Malaysian passport. Wow! Yeah, sort, it out. sort it out, yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll we'll talk to someone in government. <laughs> <laughs> but what would you say then to other foreigners who probably are thinking about making Malaysia their home? Um. Well, I think you. It depends on what situation you're in. You know, if I was in England and I had like a wife and a kid there, my family there, I probably wouldn't want to come. I wouldn't say come to Malaysia. Uh, but if you are young, you've got nothing to lose and you want a new opportunity, Malaysia is a perfect place. Like, honestly, we have we have beaches here. We have like some of the best beaches in the world. You know, everyone goes to Bali and says, oh, Bali's amazing. Like, honestly, the beaches in Malaysia are better than uh, Bali. Um, and the food is so good. Like in England, like we don't have, we have fish and chips and maybe like Yorkshire puddings. That's it. Malaysia, there's like different states, different foods, um, which is so cool. I think the people here, people here are very welcoming, but you get invited to all these things and people really want to show you their culture, which you don't really see um, in England. So if you like diversity, you like good food, come to Malaysia.